G'day, my name is Sparsi, and today I thought we'd do some programming in BASIC. Now, uh, something that every channel needs is a little introduction with a bit of animation and maybe a bit of sound. Uh, my channel doesn't have that, and because I'm not the most skilled when it comes to graphics and animation and music, I thought maybe I would make a little program in BASIC to actually create this uh, intro for me. Uh, I'm not going to put you through the bottom of watching me code through everything, so I'll time-lapse it. Um, but a few helpful hints if you plan on doing some basic programming yourself with graphics. Uh, a useful thing to have is a piece of paper that's got a grid on it so that you can draw out sort of what you want and sketch out the shape of what you actually want to have on the screen. Um, and also it's handy to have the GW Basic Reference Manual. manual. Um, just in case you don't know what all of the commands are. Uh, so I'm going to start coding, um, and at this point it's going to speed up for you guys. So um, I'm going to put on something to listen to what I code, uh, and we'll see you when at the end when I'm done coding. Okay, um, I've finished the basic animation that I wanted to do. Um, it might make good thumbnails as well, so let's just uh, do a little bit of a demonstration of what we've got here. Um, so let's just do that. I've got a little bit of a customization option, so we're going to put something in here. So let's say it was uh, the digger program. Um, so that program I wrote the last time. And it types out it as if it was on DOS, gives a little animation. And then takes a few seconds, then types out the today's program. Now I don't like that it wraps around the screen like that. Um, and then it says loading and then I'll compress a key and that's, that's the end. Um, I'm still working on it um, and I need to add some audio to it. Um, but I need to take a little bit of a break here. Um, so let's just pause the video and we'll come back to it. One eternity later. Okay, and we're back. Uh, now uh, I've got a few things that I need to do left, um, such as adding some audio, some basic music, and probably just tweaking the layout and the animation a little bit. So we'll go back into time lapse mode and get cracking. Oh, hello everyone, I'm back. Um, I finished making 
my tweaks to the animation and adding some sound. I'm not quite sure about how I feel about the sound yet. Uh, basically, what I've got is a number of songs that I've programmed into BASIC, and I've got a little random number generator that picks one at random. Uh, there's something I'll show you in a second that's definitely relevant to that, um, but um, I'm not sure if I'll keep the music, as PC speaker music can be a bit annoying. Um, but here's something that I, I thought was interesting. Uh, I've got two versions of the BASIC interpreter running. Now this is um, GW BASIC here running in MS-DOS and DOSBox. Uh, so that one is actually like the original interpreter. And this one here is PC BASIC, which is made by, I think, Rob Hagemans, if I've pronounced that correctly. But this is a uh, emulated GW BASIC um, written in Python. Okay, so let's just run the program in the original interpreter just to see what it does. So I'll just enter a program name here. Okay, and we get the animation. And you can probably hear that the music is sort of wavering and a bit um, not great. And it turns out that that's down to DOSBox's emulation of the PC speaker. Um, basically DOSBox, um, if you don't have a special version of it, will actually not really quite emulate the PC speaker right. And basically what it results in is the frequency of the notes wavering um, like you hear there. Um, but what will keep this window as it is just there like that. And we'll run it in um, the PC basic version. Okay, animation pretty much is exactly the same. The music's a bit louder. Yeah, I think that song in particular may need to go. Uh, but you can notice in particular that the main difference between the two is um, the graphics on this one are softer. The PC speaker is definitely emulated correctly, um, even though the song might not be the best. Um, but this one's got much sharper graphics and this one's got softer graphics. I suppose what I could do is pre-record all the different uh, musics and add them in video editing later, um, along with a floppy disk loading sound. I think that would, would be kind of cool to add a floppy disk loading sound over the top of this loading. Um, and of course use this one as it's, as it's sharper, but again I'm, I'm not really quite sure if I want to keep the um, music that I've added. Uh, there's a lot of different random ones that I've added, so I might try and get it to play a few of them just by running the program multiple times. Um, so let's see if we can get another one to play. Um, you may notice um, during the time lapse that I actually tested the program wrapper a lot, and it was to test features like that. I wanted to know that it would play all of the tunes correctly. And, um, yeah, this time it's picked Clementine. Omidalen Clementine. Except I don't know anyone named Clementine. Um, but it was an easy song I could find on the internet and uh, program in. Um, let's see if it picks something else this time. Okay, that is the one I've already got. It's nice that you can quit it part way through. It seems to like picking the same songs again and again. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, anyway, I, I guess that gives you a little bit of a taste for the kind of music that I've written in there. Um, let me know what you think, and I'll keep working on this.